Dr. James Gordon is a graduate of Harvard Medical School and the founder and director of the Center for Mind-Body Medicine in Washington, D.C. He's also a clinical professor in the Department of Psychiatry and Family Medicine at the Georgetown University School of Medicine. Dr. Gordon is the author and editor of 12 books, including his most recent one, Unstuck. He also served as the chairman of the White House Commission on Complementary and Alternative Medicine Policy. Dr. Gordon works with the United States military and populations of people throughout the world who've been terrorized by war and natural disasters. He has helped thousands of people get through difficult times in their lives with his unstuck techniques. Learn how to change your moods, your health, and your life in profound and enriching ways with Dr. James Gordon. So how do you know if you are stuck or you're unstuck? How, how many people here have felt stuck sometime in the last year or two? <laughs> well, I don't know if everybody can see out there. This is virtually, you can raise your hand if you're watching on television, too. <laughs> Because virtually everyone, and I would say that's come to me as well. And, and, and being stuck often means, and I'm going to just uh, you will kind of nod your head or look at me, it sometimes means having the same non-productive thoughts over and over again. How many have experienced that? Yeah. Um, in the same pattern in a relationship that's not joyful, that's not kind, that's not celebratory. You're smiling. You've had this experience. <laughs> I have to. We've all had this kind of experience. Now, there's been a lot of research done on this kind of relaxation or meditation technique showing it can reduce blood pressure, it can decrease pain if you have chronic pain, decrease anxiety, improve mood, bring uh, brain functioning from areas of the brain that are connected with pessimism and discouragement to areas of the brain connected with optimism and hopefulness. And he's holding on by a branch, a tiny branch, that's starting to creak and bend and break. And he looks up, and there is a strawberry. <laughs> and he picks the strawberry, and he puts it in his mouth, and he says, how sweet it is. <laughs> now we're in a better place to deal with stage four, which is the demons. Now, Ordinarily, the word demon, we think of in the Judeo-Christian sense. These are terrible, evil, ugly, deformed creatures. But demon actually comes from the Greek word daimon, D-A-I-M-O-N. And that daimon is the soul, is the truth, is the source of wisdom in us. But if we are able to relax with that resentment, to have a dialogue with it. And the exercise, the experiment, I will suggest to you, you can do at home, is you write on a page. Let's say it's resentment. You write your initial. If it's me, it's J. I'm having a dialogue with R, with my resentment. 